Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Alex, and uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to tighten your chain or even your chain on a single wheel go kart. It's not a live axle, it's just spinning this one wheel. And um, what this fixes is if you were with me right now and you you know see how this wheel spins freely and watch it'll it'll stop right there. Yeah. And then it'll squeeze, which means the engine is uh the engine is not straight with the uh, the wheel and the chain and it's not it's not true. So um what we're gonna have to do is on the engine mount right there, no, right there, and right here. You're gonna have to loosen them. And the ones in the back, you can't see that because there's no light, but they're back there. So you can see that one. Right there. And what you're gonna have to do is we're gonna we're gonna loosen them, all four, and then we're gonna straighten it up and that'll fix that problem, but it won't fix it for a live axle. I don't have a live axle go kart, so I can't show you. But um and you're not going to have to take off the seat if you have one, but if you have a seat that kind of moves back and forth, move it all the way forward so it um, you can get clearance right here to get in and out of there. So, And also you're going to need a, a, wrench, a wrench and then a, uh, a racket, a ratchet, sorry, a ratchet set. And I guess if you want to um if you want to clean down there you can get some rags and WD forty or an uh an air compressor right there and just get down there but we'll we'll do that at the end. And uh let's get Alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a um a seven sixteenths ratchet and a one half wrench. And on this go kart particularly it's gonna be easier to stick the uh the wrench on top and on the ratchet on bottom and what we're going to do is just unscrew those real quick. Alright, so we got the first one off and it's really not that hard but and then now you're just going to take off the rest of them. There's no particular order that I do it in but we're just going to take it all, take them all off. Or I guess you can, yeah you can just loosen them if you want. That'd actually probably be like 20 times easier. But yeah, we'll just loosen them instead of taking them off. I don't know why I thought of that. Or didn't think of that. So we'll do that right now. Alright, so we got all the bolts loosened, not off. And remember that if you do take it off, remember that if you have your ground for your battery right here, and make sure that stays on. So all of them are loosened, and you, and you can feel if you were sitting on it, it leaning on the tire before, and now it's it's free. It's, it's less less drag, and um, so really, what you're gonna want to do if you're tightening the chain, see how it's loose. You're just gonna pull the engine forward as much as you can, but make sure you do it evenly. You just push it up and to where the chain that's bad, especially if you don't have this little. The uh, the chain roller that came out right here comes out from this little this little bracket thingy right here. I used to have it on there, but the uh, the guy at the at uh, the go kart shop took it off because he said it's unnecessary. So I mean, you can keep it on, but uh, I took it off because it was getting caught up on the wheel and the uh, the clutch. You can see the scraping. See how it's rust right there? Then you can see it scraping right there. So um. Yeah, so you 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 don't want this. You want it to be tight. So you have to push the engine up as far as you can. All right. So it didn't look like I did much, but you can see now it's stiff. So now that you've done that, um, I guess I would walk up the front so then the back. So let's do that real quick. Okay. So I just tightened down the first one and look what happened. It already got messed up again. It's too tight. It's too um. It's off center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-loosen it and pull the engine back up and make it center and start with the one on the left and see what that does. 
Alright, so I got I unloosened it and now I loose and I kinda I didn't tighten both sides but I feel it bad. Bad. And it can't be perfect, so it's alright, but you what you have to keep you just have to keep messing with it. Don't don't tighten one side down and tighten the rest and do them all and then check it and then you're fucked. Then you gotta redo it all again. So um so just keep going it step by step and I mean and just uh you have to keep messing with these things. So I'm gonna keep going and yeah, so we'll go from there. Alright, so I got them all tightened down. Took a little undoing unscrewing and screwing back in, but I got it. It's it's not bad. Better than before. And the chain's not over tightened, but it's not under tightened, so I think it's gonna be alright. And now, since we've done that, and especially since I've been riding this weather, I'm going to lose the chain. And pretty much, I'm just going to use what I use on my dirt bike, which is Bellray Chain Lube. I picked it up at Mancuso. Or you can get it uh, pretty much anywhere. Any chain grease, but this is for motocross bikes, so it works just the same. O-ring safe. And, uh, yeah, so we're just going to lose that up real quick. And it's a lot easier if you have someone helping you. But if you don't, it's all right. Alright, so I got it all lubed up. You can see the, the white on there. And now, what the um, the guy told me at the hobby shop is that you're supposed to take um, just a tad bit of um, just any type of motor oil. And I have 10 weight, 10 to 30. AutoZone doesn't really make a difference too much. Well, I mean, in here I use Penn's oil, but still. And what he said to do is every two hours, if you have this type of clutch, is you're supposed to just take a little bit and just um, just kind of dab it around here to get it lubricated. And this is every two hours, he told me. And so I'm going to do that real quick too, just since I haven't been doing it. So you just, I just took a little, the, uh, the cap full, just pretty much just dumped it on there, behind there, and look how much it just glides so much faster, and that has to do with the chain loop and that, and put that motor oil. But yeah, just regular motor oil, and that should do it. So, um, yeah, that's how you tighten the chain on a go-kart. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to, uh, comment, and subscribe, and watch my other videos, if you want to. Uh, thanks.